Hello, my name is Jacob Jones. I'm a firefighter paramedic with Springfield Township Fire Department. And I'm Griffin Watts. I'm a firefighter EMT with Springfield Township Fire Department. And we're here to take you on a tour of the ambulance today. So this is the back of our ambulance. Welcome. Uh, I'd personally like to start off with two things. We're probably gonna go over like four. Um, I would want to go over an intubation kit. So this is one of the basic things you get with an ALS unit or advanced life support. Um, uh, we have a couple of different tubes, a laryngoscope to look inside your airway, and all this is to uh, maintain an airway on you uh, in case of any sort of respiratory emergency. Uh, another big kit would be our IV kit. Um, we have a whole bunch of needles uh, for innovate intravenous access. Um, we have a glucose in here to test your glucose as well as any sort of saline and flushes to go with it. Um, attached to that IV kit kind of is a IO gun which would be for interosseous or bone access. Um, and then Jones here, or Jacob Jones here is going to go over two different things as well. I sure will. Thank you Griffin. And this is what's called our cardiac monitor. This is one of the best diagnostic tools that we have on an ALS ambulance. So we're able to form what's called a 12 lead. We can do a 15 lead. We can do four lead monitoring en route to the hospital. This is great because of the fact that we can activate the cardiac catheterization. Anything like that, um, especially when it comes to definitive care, door to balloon time is critical. And on top of that, in conjunction with everything that Griffin said, same thing with the monitor, we have the drug box. So this is what's great on what's on an ALS ambulance. The same thing with our ACLS protocols. Because on the bottom drawer here, we have a lot of cardiac medications, which will help in cardiac events, nature and, and nature-wise. And same thing with the breathing meds, seizures, be able to give benzos for that or benzodiazepams. And same thing with on our, our normal uh, aspirin or any Narcan, anything that uh, a BLS level can do, the ALS provides uh, significantly more me cardiac medications and, and breathing medications in conjunction with that. It seems like uh, steroids for your, the help with the breathing with the methylprednisone or prednisone. Then in conjunction with that, we also have what's called the APAC. It's a condensed version of the drug box. We have a lot of the, the breathing treatments that's in here as well. And this is, this is actually a wonderful thing because November 1st, 2021, we went with an ALS trial period. And what happened was all, this is great that went in addition to that, and we can actually still go ahead and forward and provide the best care uh, on the road for the, uh, for the patients.